Baby Food, Wikipedia Article Audio Baby food is any soft, easily consumed food other than breast milk or infant formula that is made specifically for human babies between 4 to 6 months and 2 years old. The food comes in many varieties and flavors that are purchased ready-made from producers. Or it may be table food eaten by the family that has been mashed or otherwise broken down. As of 2011, the World Health Organization, UNICEF, and many national health agencies recommended waiting until six months of age before starting a child on food. Individual babies may differ greatly from this guideline based on their unique developmental progress. Baby food can be given when the child is developmentally ready to eat. Signs of readiness include the ability to sit without help, loss of tongue thrust, and the display of active interest in food that others are eating. Readiness Health As a global public health recommendation, the World Health Organization recommends that infants should be exclusively breastfed for the first six months of life to achieve optimal growth, development, and health. Most six-month-old infants are physiologically and developmentally ready for new foods, textures, and modes of feeding. Experts advising the World Health Assembly have provided evidence that introducing solids earlier than six months increases babies' chances of illness, without improving growth. One of the health concerns associated with the introduction of solid foods before six months is iron deficiency. The early introduction of complementary foods may satisfy the hunger of the infant, resulting in less frequent breastfeeding and ultimately less milk production in the mother. Because iron absorption from human milk is depressed when the milk is in contact with other foods in the proximal small bowel, early use of complementary foods may increase the risk of iron depletion and anemia. In Canada sodium content in infant food is regulated, strained fruit, fruit juice, fruit drink, and cereal cannot be sold if sodium has been added. Foods naturally containing sodium are limited to 0.05 to 0.25 grams per 100 grams of food, depending on the type of infant food. If there is a family history of allergies, one may wish to introduce only one new food at a time, leaving a few days in between to notice any reactions that would indicate a food allergy or sensitivity. This way, if the child is unable to tolerate a certain food, it can be determined which food is causing the reaction. Newborns need a diet of breast milk or infant formula. About 40% of the food energy in these milks comes from carbohydrates, mostly from a simple sugar called lactose. Nutritional Needs and the Amount of Food As shown in the 2008 Feeding Infants and Toddlers study, the overall diet of babies and toddlers, the primary consumers of baby food, generally meets or significantly exceeds the recommended amount of macronutrients. Toddlers and preschoolers generally ate too little dietary fiber, and preschoolers generally ate too much saturated fat, although the overall fat intake was lower than recommended. Micronutrient levels were typically within the recommended levels. A small group of older infants in the American study needed more iron and zinc, such as from iron-fortified baby foods. A substantial proportion of toddlers and preschoolers exceeded the upper recommended level of synthetic folate, preformed vitamin A, zinc, and sodium. The World Health Organization recommends starting in small amounts that gradually increase as the child gets older. 2 to 3 meals per day for infants 6 to 8 months of age and 3 to 4 meals per day for infants 9 to 23 months of age, with one or two additional snacks as required. Preparation and Feeding Baby foods are either a soft, 
liquid paste or an easily chewed food since babies lack developed muscles and teeth to effectively chew. Babies typically move to consuming baby food once nursing or formula is not sufficient for the child's appetite. Babies do not need to have teeth to transition to eating solid foods. Teeth, however, normally do begin to show up at this age. Care should be taken with certain foods that pose a choking hazard, such as undercooked vegetables, grapes, or food that may contain bones. Babies begin eating liquid-style baby food consisting of pureed vegetables and fruits, sometimes mixed with rice cereal and formula, or breast milk. Then, as the baby is better able to chew, small, soft pieces or lumps may be included. Care should be taken, as babies with teeth have the ability to break off pieces of food but they do not possess the back molars to grind, so food can be carefully mashed or prec-hued, or broken into manageable pieces for their baby. Around six months of age, babies may begin to feed themselves with help from parents. Homemade baby food is less expensive than commercial baby foods. Homemade food is appropriate only when the family has a sufficient and varied diet, as well as access to refrigeration and basic sanitation. It is important to follow proper sanitation methods when preparing homemade baby food such as washing and rinsing vegetables or fruit, as well as the cooking and packaging materials that will be used. Homemade food requires more preparation time than opening a jar or box of ready-to-eat commercial baby food. Food may need to be minced or pureed for young babies, or cooked separately without the salt, intense spices, or sugar that the family chooses to eat. Avocados and bananas are foods that can be easily mashed and are high in vitamins and nutrients making them ideal starter foods for an infant six months in age or older. Homemade or commercial Through the first year, breast milk or infant formula is the main source of calories and nutrients. Types Babies may be started directly on normal family food if attention is given to choking hazards, this is called baby-led weaning. Because breast milk takes on the flavor of foods eaten by the mother, these foods are especially good choices. Food Type Nestle's Feeding Infants and Toddlers study of 2008 indicates that few American babies are fed baby food before the age of four months. Some commercial baby food companies have expanded their lines to produce specialty foods for toddlers from the age of about 12 months to two and a half years old. These include juice, cereal, small microwavable meals, baked goods, and other foods that have been formulated and marketed for toddlers. Toddler Foods In the late 1940s, Gerber Products Company and Beech Nut produced special cookbooks to promote the sale of commercial baby foods for use by elderly, sick, or disabled people. Parents and slash or caregivers may perceive up to half of toddlers as being picky or fatty, with the peak around 24 months. Adults who hold this opinion often stop offering new foods to the child after only three to five attempts rather than continuing to offer the food until the child has tasted it 8 to 15 times. They may also engage in counterproductive behaviors, such as offering appetite-suppressing milk or other favorite foods as an alternative, or trying to force or bribe the child into eating. Baby food varies from culture to culture. In many cultures, pastes of a grain and liquids are the first baby food. In human history and presently with many cultures around the world, babies are fed food pre-masticated by the caretaker of the baby in order to pulverize the food and start the digestion process. An infant's first bite of solid food is ceremonial and holds religious importance in many cultures. 
An example of this is Anaprashan, a Hindu ritual where the infant is fed a sweetened rice porridge, usually blessed, by an elder family member. Similar rites of passage are practiced across Asia, including the Bengal region, Vietnam, and Thailand. In the Western world until the mid-1900s, baby food was generally made at home. The Industrial Revolution saw the beginning of the baby food market which promoted commercial baby foods as convenience items. In developed countries, babies are now often started with commercially produced iron-fortified infant cereals, and then move on to mashed fruits and vegetables. Commercial baby foods are widely available in dry, ready-to-feed, and frozen forms, often in small batches for convenience of preparation. On the contrary, in developing countries, breastfeeding is more widely accepted and socially tolerated in public, thus creating a societal contrast. Amy Bentley, author of Inventing Baby Food, talks about how infant feeding reflects one's position in the post-war era of the American century because in developed countries, families are able to purchase processed baby foods to feed their children, whereas in developing country, natural breastfeeding is more popular. Commercially prepared baby foods in the Netherlands were first prepared by Martinus van der Hagen through his NV Nutritia company in 1901. In United States they were first prepared by Harold Clapp who sold Clapp's baby food in the 1920s. The Fremont Canning Company, now called the Gerber Products Company, started in 1927. The Beech Nut Company entered the U.S. baby food market in 1931. The first pre-cooked dried baby food was pablum which was originally made for sick children in the 1930s. Other commercial baby food manufacturers include H.J. Heinz Company, Nestle, Nutritia, and Organiques. Heinz produced dehydrated baby food in the 1980s. The demand from parents for organic food began to grow in the 1960s, since then, many larger commercial manufacturers have introduced organic lines of infant food. Geriatric Use At the beginning of the 20th century in America, most babies began eating baby food around the age of 7 months. During and shortly after World War II, the age at which solid food was first introduced dropped to just six weeks. This age has since increased to four to six months. By the mid-20th century, manufactured baby food was readily used and supplemented previous infant feeding practices. Author of Inventing Baby Food, Amy Bentley argues that the excessive additives of sugar, salt, and message in overused manufactured baby food conditioned infants to prefer processed foods later in life. Also, it is believed that exposing infants to solid foods at an earlier age will help them get used to foods later on in life. This subsequent misuse of salt and sugar was also feared to affect issues of weight and nutrition based diseases. Picky Eating In China and other East Asian countries, homemade baby food remains common, and babies are started on rice porridge called xiphon, then move on to mashed fruits, soft vegetables, tofu, and fish. In Sweden, it is common to start with mashed fruit, such as bananas, as well as oatmeal and mashed vegetables. In Western Africa, Maize porridge is often the first solid food given to young children. Some commercial baby foods have been criticized for their contents and cost. Over the decades, there have been multiple recalls of baby foods because of concerns about contamination or spoilage. In 1984 and 1986, Gerber was involved in a scandal over glass baby food jars breaking in transit, which dramatically affected its sales and profitability, 
although the U.S. Food and Drug Administration later concluded that the company was not at fault. In 1987, Beechnut paid U.S. $25 million to resolve charges of selling adulterated apple juice in the early 1980s. In 2011, Nestle France decided to recall a batch of Petit Pot baby food as a precautionary measure after a customer reportedly found glass shards in one of their jars. An investigation into the incident's scope led the company to conclude that it had been an isolated occurrence and that the rest of the batch had not been affected. Baby food and formula markets were estimated at $35 billion in 2015. Historical and Cultural Controversies Market Commercial baby food in the United States is dominated by Gerber, which had about 70% of the American market share in 1996. Beechnut had about 15% of the market, and Heinz had about 10%. Heinz is Earth's best the largest brand of organic baby food, had about 2% of the American market share. In Australia, Canada and New Zealand, Heinz had about 90% of the market share in 1996. Heinz is also the market leader in the UK, Italy and several Eastern European countries. According to Future Market Insights the global market for baby foods is expected to be around $62 US dollar BN by 2022, exhibiting a modest CAGR from 2017 to 2022. Factors such as increasing population of working mothers, rising awareness regarding the benefits of organic baby foods, and higher birth rates recorded in different regions are expected to drive the demand for baby foods in the near future.